Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Valorant Episode 7 Act 3 which has been dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can tell you guys the best settings and with all that said, let's get started without wasting any more time. Alright, coming up to the very first step that is the compatibility settings and for that I'd recommend you guys to search for Valorant on your PC and then click on open file location. Then once you are here, go and open up file location once again until you are in the download location. Now over here you need to go over to Riot Games, then click on Valorant, go to live, then over here you'll find Valorant.exe. Right click on it and then go over to show more options, go to properties. Go to compatibility and click on disable full screen optimizations. Right after that, click on change high DPI settings and select override high DPI scaling behavior. Simply click on OK and apply these settings. Once you're done with that, now go back to shooter games, go to binaries, win64 and in here you will find Valorant win64 shipping. You need to do the same thing, go over to properties, go to compatibility, click on disable full screen optimization and select override high DPI scaling behavior. Now let's move to step number two, that is essential windows settings. Over here, you need to open up settings on your PC, then click on gaming, go to game bar and make sure to disable the game bar. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background, which affects your gameplay performance. Right after that, go to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. Game mode optimizes your PC by turning things off in the background, allowing you to save memory and it also removes unnecessary notification pop-ups to disturb your gameplay. Both of them will together help you to get better performance on your games. After that, you'll find graphic settings over here. You need to click on change default graphics settings and then enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as utilize your GPU over your CPU. This will prioritize more of your GPU while rendering the game and that will give you better performance and better results. After that, you can go back to graphics. Now in this list, you will find all of your applications and games which utilizes your GPU. You can simply hit on browse button and add Valorant from the same installation directory. Now I've already added it. So what you need to do is go to options and then select high performance and click on save. Once you're done with that, you can feel free to close your settings and let's move to step number three. That is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations and deanimating it will get you much better performance. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, select adjust for best performance and then select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to keep your windows look intact while disabling most of the animations which are useless. After that, you need to go to advanced, set your processor scheduling to programs and now let's move to the next step that is setting up the virtual memory. If you're playing Valorant on a low-end PC, this step will help you a lot. For that, I also recommend you guys to open up calculator on the other side of your screen just so you can use it easily. Now you can click on change and this will take you to the virtual memory. Over here, you need to uncheck the automatically managed paging and then select your local disk C on which you have your Valorant installed. Then you need to select custom size over here and your initial size should be set to 1361. Then your maximum size should be set to half of your total physical memory. And for that you need to search system information on your PC. Right over here you'll find installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. It could be different for you, so use this formula. Use your total physical memory multiplied by 1024 that will give you the memory in megabytes that is over here. Now what you need to do is simply divide this thing by 2 and you will get 16384 that is over here set as the maximum size. It could be different for you so I hope you get the concept. Once you're done with that simply click on OK and click on apply and that will do everything in the background. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues, ping issues as well as packet loss using exit lag. This is a pro's choice to get rid of all of your internet issues with just one click. You can simply download exit lag for completely free from the link in the description below and right now they are also going on with the 
sale. I'll tell you more about it later in the video. Once you open up exit lag, it should look like this and it is a really simple interface. On the left hand side, you will find a list of over 1000 games to choose from in which you can search for Valorant over here, which I have added it. However, they also have Valorant China. So if you're playing Valorant in China, you can use this one instead. Now you need to select the nearest game region to you. For me, it is Mumbai 01. And as you guys can see, it's giving me an estimation of 6 milliseconds of ping, which you can simply click on apply routes and that will be added to your list, which will be fixing your internet issues real time whenever you're playing the game. Exit lag helps you to tunnel your internet directly to the game servers without hindrance of third parties. And that will bypass all of the packet loss and ping issues straight from your PC. The best part is it also has a tool section where you can find FPS boost and this also helps you to get better FPS. Simply enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option. Just make sure to enable all of them and that will give you much better performance straight with just one click over here. Now make sure that exit lag is always running whenever you're playing the games. Now once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription if this helps you guys. Now once again I definitely suggest you guys that you can go with monthly, annual or quarterly subscription and right now in the black november sale if you get a quarterly subscription you'll get one month free. Or you can buy two months of subscription and you'll get one month free. So once again, I would suggest you guys to get exit lag right over there from the link in the description below and that will get you much better performance straight away. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to search for create a restore point on your PC and once this window opens up, you're going to look for your local disk C over here. It should be written system or you can find a windows logo right around here. You can simply click on create and name it Valorant and simply click on the create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential and it will save your windows from heavy losses in case you want to revert your settings back to normal or you want to reset your PC back to the original state before changing all of those settings you can always do it without any data loss now next step is downloading the valorant episode 7 act 3 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can download it straight from there or if you guys are facing any issues while downloading this pack you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial you can simply open this thing up and in here you will find in five important folders first one is the cpu priority in which you will find the amd and intel cpu priority now you need to know which CPU that you're using. I'm using an AMD CPU. It could be that you're using an Intel CPU. So you'll find in a registry that is for CPU priority. You can run this registry and that will help you to boost your PC's performance. Then you'll find Valorant priority and for this I'll recommend you guys to leave your computer specifications down in the comments below so I can tell you guys which one to choose over here. Third one is the RAM optimization and in here I have left a ton of presets to choose from. I use 32GB RAM so I need to run the 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so pick the one that you are using on your PC and if you don't like the performance once again I've also left a reset to default just in case you want to revert to old settings. Next one is the Windows important tweaks and in here I have left a ton of tweaks which you guys can use straight on your computer. Now this will disable unnecessary services, disable background apps, disable downloading maps, transparencies, improve system responsiveness and lastly the Win32 priority separation. All of them will help you to improve your PC's performance but these are completely optional if you guys want to do it or not. Once again for maximum FPS I'd recommend you guys to run all of them they are completely safe and in case you want to revert back to old settings I have also left them over here. Last one is the programs folder we will find in the first one that is the clean temporary files you can run this as administrator and it will politely ask you to remove all temporary files you can simply press any key and it will clean all of your cache memory on your pc don't worry this is completely safe and it only removes unnecessary files next one is unpark cpu and this is a very useful application you can simply right click and run as administrator once again and what this basically does is it helps you unpark your pc or CPU cores. Windows by default has a tendency to put all of your unused cores to sleep or you can say parked. In this case your CPU are not being utilized and it could be possible that whenever you are playing your games some of your cores are parked and that will give you performance issues. To fix that we are using CPU unpark. You can simply slide the core parking index all the way to 100% and as you guys can see the parked cores are currently 16 or 14 and as soon as I hit apply over here and click ok the parked cores are now 
zero and all of the cores are now working now i'd recommend you guys to run cpu unpack whenever you're playing the games keep it running in the background and that will help you to get fps drastically so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we'll see you guys in another amazing brand new video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out